All right, I guess we could start now. I'd like to welcome everybody to this uh, Solid Experience webinar. The theme today will be uh, DriveWorks. My name is Joseph Inter Donato. I'm a senior account manager here at Solid Experts. And I'm in a, the company of Yanko Leyani, who is a, an, a solution, uh, engineer. solution engineer from our DriveWorks team. Hi, Yanko. Hi. Hi, everyone. And uh, what I'd like to do is uh, maybe just start off uh, by uh, letting you know uh, that uh, there is a, a DriveWorks Express within your SolidWorks solutions. It's the only partner that has their solution natively in SolidWorks. Of course, that solution there, DriveWorks Express, is quite limited. And uh, you will see that uh, you will have many more capabilities within the product offering of DriveWorks. As you can see from the slide, Solid Expert's been around for about 23 years now, and we are uh, uh, both in Montreal, Quebec, and also uh, in the United States, uh, in Nashua. Uh, and uh, we're quite a quite a gang here at Solid Experts, offering not only software but also uh, services. Uh, I think that would be our stronghold. Having said that, uh, Yankel, I'll let you uh, take this uh, technical uh, webinar uh, on its way. Perfect. Thank you, Joseph. So, um, hi, everyone. Uh, so, we're going to talk about DriveWorks today. Um, we're going to, um, so basically, those are the, the, the subjects that we're going to abort today. What is DriveWorks? The different GAMs of DriveWorks products. Uh, the DriveWorks advantages, and then the main subject of today is what is new on DriveWorks 19. So we're going to see all the new functionality, I mean, some of the new functionality that we chose to, to discuss today. So in, in brief, uh, what is DriveWorks? DriveWorks is a powerful design automation tool for SolidWorks, meaning you already have 3D models on your SolidWorks, and using DriveWorks, you can capture all the information that you want from the models, so be it dimensions, some features, and create some nice forms in order to, 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 to modify those models and generate as many as you wish. So it's a powerful design automation. It, it lets you automate stuff using uh, your, 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 your model. It's also a 3D product configurator software. So with, with DriveWorks, you can configure anything on the, the, the model, and it's an automation for manufacturing, meaning with DriveWorks, you can mainly re reduce rep repetitive tasks, eliminate errors, and increase sales and deliver custom products in record time. With DriveWorks, mainly how that works is you create the form, you embed all the information about your, your, your model in it, you create the calculations, then you capture the information into your model, and then you drive all those calculations into the model and generate the model. So you can generate as much as, as you want, and, and you do these steps over and over again to, to reduce and eliminate as much error as possible. So you have three uh, main DriveWorks products. Like Joseph said, we have DriveWorks Express, which is already included into uh, your, your SolidWorks. So with, with DriveWorks Express, it's pretty pretty limited, but you can still uh, configure and automate uh, the, the, the and, and generate a new model based on, on the old one. So you can capture some information, some dimensions, but you don't have as much flexibility in the forms. And also it's um, binded to SolidWorks. So it's inside of SolidWorks. Uh, so you can't share all those forms online or anything like that. With DriveWorks Solo, you can create custom forms. So you have more flexibility over what you can input. And also you can generate drawings and other, and, and, and you can also yeah, generate drawings and copy the, the new generated model. So you can actually create more stuff. Um, but the, 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 the main product of DriveWorks is DriveWorks Pro. And DriveWorks Pro comes with um, four main components. So in DriveWorks Pro, you have DriveWorks Administrator, in which you, you actually create all the projects. So inside of DriveWorks ad, ad Administrator, you design the input forms, you add all the rules, all the calculations, you control who has access to which project and, and which model. 
and you, you can also run the project. Now, to run the project, there are also two other softwares. There is Drivebox User and Drivebox Lite. Drivebox User would be more of an on-premise software, so you need a computer, you need to connect to a computer, and then you can launch the project. With Drivebox Lite, you can embed the forms directly online. So you, you, don't, you, you don't have to, to use a computer. You can use your phone, you can use your tablet, you can use any computer connected to the web. And all those information passes through the Drivebox Pro Server. So Drivebox Pro Server is where all the, the information is gathered between the project and the, the 3D model that you capture. So you capture all information on that server, and then using the project, you can use forms and rules to modify those information. And Drivebox Autopilot is basically the server in, in which all the, those information gets received and it processes the job queue. So this is where the, this is mainly the machine in which all the generation takes take, takes place. Um, it can create documents, it can send emails, it can uh, uh, create many forms of notifications. Uh, we're going to talk about a new feature that, that has been available on Drivebox Autopilot um, in, in, in the next slides. But this is mainly how the Drivebox Pro uh, connects between all those softwares. Yankel, that seems to be a lot of information all, all at once. I would invite our guests uh, to maybe uh, use the uh, the functionality of uh, questions within uh, the webinar. And if you have some, some questions you have, we can uh, answer them as we go along. Sure, of course. Um, so what are the main advantages of using Drivebox? So you, you do gain a competitive advantage over other enterprises that don't use it, mainly because you, you reduce the cost of custom designs. You don't have to reproduce your generation every time. You can just directly embed all your logic, all your, all, all your uh, I mean, the logic that you have in the enterprise into a project. Mm -hmm. Then using that logic, you can generate as, much, as, as many designs as, as you want. And by doing this, you can also respond more quickly to sales in, inquiries. Uh, because you can generate the models, then you can have the bill of material faster. And with that bill of material, it can probably process and, and, and uh, get a quote faster. Um, it also enhances the product quality because it reduces repetitive tasks, so you, you don't have as much errors. And uh, I mean, it's, it's all, all those advantages that, that are really important in, in today's environment and manufacturing uh, processes. Okay, so uh, that was the part about Triborgs. Of course, like Joseph said, uh, that was probably a bit quick, and there is a ton of uh, other information available on Triborgs. And I, and I, I encourage everyone to, to, to ask a question about this part. Um, I, I wanted mainly to, to uh, present some new features that just came out with the, the, the new Drivebox 19 that, that came out not even two weeks ago. So I'm gonna go over some of the features that we thought was more, more interesting. And uh, yeah, so those are only some of the features. There are many other features uh, that Drivebox 19 came out with, but I, I think uh, those ones are the ones that we use and that we thought were the, the the best ones. So th this first one might sound silly to, to rename a, a project, but before that, we used to actually copy the project, go on the back end on the data management, and then rename it there. And uh, it was a complicated process at first, but now with the new Drivebox 19, it's actually fairly quickly. So this is a uh, Drivebox data management. On it, you have the list of, of all your projects, and you can now just right-click on it, and rename the project. And as soon as you rename it, of course, make sure that the project that you're renaming is uh, not, um, not open, basically. And uh, when you rename it, now it's, it's got a name project, what's new, Trivox 19. So the old name was, uh, I think, uh, project, uh, it was what's new. And now you see the new name, which, is, which has the, 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 the prefix, project. So that's a new feature. Uh, that was quite nice. It's neat. You can do it in one click, basically, uh, way better. 
uh, yeah, that, that's the feature that I was talking about. So in, and now in Driveworks Autopilot, you do have a new connector. So before that, any, um, any operation that Driveworks Autopilot was taking was based on an action already being uh, up, up, up applied. So basically, if a, model, if a model generation ended, then you send an email. Or if this document appeared, then you do this. Now with this new schedule connector, uh, you can actually make action happen uh, based on, on a time setting. So here, this is Drivebooks Autopilot. Uh, you, you have the new connectors schedule. So I'm going to name it Schedule 1. The connectors are available on the, on, on, on the left side, the C connector. So here, I'm only choosing the basic connector, for example, and it's uh, to launch uh, an action um, today at 8. And then that action could be launching a project, could be sending an email, could be anything. You have another way of setting up those uh, schedule. It, it could be a recurrent, I mean, re repeating one. So this one is on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 7.30 to 8. And I'm going to put it basically every five minutes. So every five minutes, I will have this action. So I think uh, for this example, it would be six times per all those days. And that action would be repeating itself automatically. So the action could be run a project. Uh, the, the name of the project that I said was uh, what's new dice, because we're going to see a dice later. And the transition name would be uh, on the specification flow of that project. Uh, what I want to do. So basically, it could be any action, it could be sending an email, or it could be also checking uh, the state of my production infrastructure. So also, you, you not now with the new driver of I'm going to talk about it right after this one or right after the other one, but there's a new feature to check if the autopilot is on or not. So you could use the schedule in order to not to, to notify you every day um, whether the autopilot is on or, or not, basically. So uh, that's about it. So in, in this case, I'm just going to write release, and it's going to just uh, send a confirmation email pretty, yeah, that's it, just to send an email, basically. Uh, another new feature of Driveworks 19, this is for Driveworks user. So um, now you can have an, uh, a retail computer in which you have Driveworks. Let's say, if, uh, I don't know, you're using Driveworks in order to process uh, uh, 3D printed tools. So you have a computer right in front of your 3D printer, and you can configure the the, the object. Uh, now you can have that computer being in kiosk mode, which means full screen. So this is the die that I was talking about. So let's say this is a, a product that you want to configure. So you have it in full screen now. And also, you have some settings that you can apply to, to this full screen mode, mainly uh, entering a password. So this is my strong and complicated password that I'm entering here. And basically, all the users enter, uh, using my computer won't be able to quit, to quit that uh, full screen mode. They, they, they would get asked a password. So here, I don't know, they, they're configuring the project. They click on, 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 on escape. Let's say they're going to escape to go and control that computer. They can't. They have to enter that strong password. Which is one 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 one, and that's it. Now they, they can leave the, the that mode. So that mode is 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 a nice feature. Um, yeah. So those are the features that I was talking about uh, for checking if the autopilot is starting or not. What's the current status? Where the what, 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 where the logs are, and also there is another new cool uh, little function that lets you basically return the name of the group. So let's say you have a group name for your production, and then another group name for your development server, and you're passing a project from the development to the production. But you, you are making some rules that are not are available yet for the production. So now you can make a rule based on the, of, of the driver's group, and based on that group, you can show a function or not. Here in this example, um, uh, it's going to be very basic. It's just going to return the name of the group. So here, name of the group, what's new Driveworks 19, which is exactly the name of the group. Inside of it, um, when you click, it's using that new function, get group name.
Yeah, so the get group name function, which returns uh, the group function. Now you can nest that function and use it inside of an if in order to, to, uh, to have it, uh, I mean, in order to, to, to check if it's on the production machine or not. Um, the other one is only to check the status of the autopilot. So like I said earlier, you could use a schedule connector in order to check for the autopilot pretty much every day, and it will not notify you. So you can create a little project that only runs this, this function, and then if the function doesn't return uh, running, it's returning stop or anything else, then you can launch an email to, to, to uh, notify people. So that, that's how you can also auto automate the process of automation, I guess. Um, uh, that's another new feature. It's pretty neat. Before that, for, for, for the users that, that, that know how uh, Fireworks used to work, you used to click many times on add row. Now you can directly just insert a certain number of rows. So in this case, it could be 20. You select 20 and then 20 rows would just appear. Instead of clicking 20 times, it's faster, easier. Um, it's pretty neat. Um, Driveworks three documents have their own section output. And this one is mainly for users that have multiple Driveworks 3D objects that they're presenting on the same form. And before, to, to, to be able to do that, um, it was, uh, you, 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 you would have uh, basically had multiple frame control. Now you can only have one rule in the same frame control, and it will show two different models based on whatever you choose. So this one is a sphere, the other one was a little chamber. Um, yeah. And also now with Drawbox 19, there is a new document uh, yeah, on, on, on the sidebar there. All your, your three documents are separated from the rest. So before that, it was all in the same uh, tab with the Word documents, the Excel documents, the text files, and everything. And it was a bit messy to, to figure out which one was a 3D document. Now it's in a separate tab, so it's easier to see and it's easier to check all your 3D documents. Uh, this feature is also fairly nice. This one is uh, uses the rule builder, and it's mainly because for every one of us working right now uh, from home, you, you can you can share a screenshot of whatever you're, you're building, and it has now the the line count. So this one is before adding the feature. To add a feature, you click on settings, and then you select uh, allow. Uh, show line numbers. Yeah. So when you show line numbers, each uh, each line is not going to have a number associated with, and you can talk to your teammate to tell them, "Oh, yeah, there is a mistake in line five. It's way easier than than to to actually uh, copy and paste the code somewhere else." So just a little feature. It's a nice little feature. Another nice little feature is the fact that right now you can use a picture box, a checkbox, and an option button, and you can hover over those and change the image property of those. So I'm, I'm gonna show you another example. So you see this little show HTML checkbox? Uh, it has now this new feature called picture holder. And now the, the picture is changing on, uh, on when, when I, I put my mouse on it. So when I hover over it. Uh, I'm showing also the option button, which also has that. So here is the feature. Pass my mouse and it hovers. That's also pretty cool. Uh, it's an added bonus, basically. Um, yeah, this feature is the one that I uh, like the most. Uh, this one I used to to have a workaround for this, but uh, I think it's fairly a nice of Driveworks to have included this. Uh, you can now basically embed directly on Driveworks any HTML code. So here, I'm just pasting a little code, nothing fancy. It's an HTML, and inside of it, I'm also I I also can use um, variables from my project. So here, I'm I'm uh, I'm using the the tables, like I'm reading values from the table, and I'm also reading the color value of the dice. So we're gonna see right now when I'm changing the colors my documents get updated. And keep in mind that this document doesn't have to be uh, that fair. 
it could be a website it could be uh, very complex it could be very nice uh, there's no right now i haven't included a style sheet so it, it does look dull but you can make it look as nice as a website so mainly right now what's happening is you can generate on the fly a website using drivers so that's very nice and you see here the, the, the colors are changing and also uh, I'm reading the images on each face. So here I'm selecting the multicolor one and I can view it directly on my document without generation, without anything. It's quick and fast. Let's say I'm generating a new color and I wanna know the name of this color. I can just check my document and here's the name of the color. That quickly. Um, that's also, so this feature is also a very uh, requested one. Now, when you're selecting the 3D model, before that, you didn't know where you could click and where you, could, you couldn't click, you didn't know what was the action possible between the, the, the model. Now, the, when you hover the mouse over the model, it shows you, it highlights you basically the face. So I highlight it in, in pink, I think in this example. So this is my dice before even configuring it. And I, I can probably uh, let that project online for users if they wanna to check it out. And when I pass my, my mouse over it, uh, you see the face gets highlighted. So I know exactly on what I'm clicking. So let's say I wanna click on the, on the whole cube to change the color of the whole cube. I'm clicking on the, on, on the dice and then I have multiple other colors that I can choose from. And if I click on the face, then another action would appear. This one for was what for the, the whole dice. But let's say I want to click on, on the face, then it would show me images. So now I can embed in images and I can actually create a dice. So let's say I was manufacturing dices and I was printing on those faces any any option. I mean, I, I can even print an image on it. So I can create custom dices right away from DriveWorks quickly and uh, it's configurable, it's fast. I mean, pretty neat. Here, uh, here I have an example. I'm, I'm selecting an image. I can also paste an image on top of there. And Superman, I mean, why not? I, I, I don't know why I chose Superman, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, yeah, okay. SolidWorks added new advanced features recently into SolidWorks 2021, 2020, and DriveWorks was a bit, uh, I think, uh, I mean, it wasn't keeping up to date. Now, I think all the new features have been included. And uh, for this example, I mean, the, all, all the new features are basically cheap metal features. You can now allow us to, to, to bend it. it Table, you can capture those information. Uh, you can also capture distance meets, so you can modify them. Uh, Wellman's features uh, can be driven, and also custom threads, uh, which was which was re requested before. So I I think those features are are not now. And also also now um, in this example, I'm showing you how you can capture information. So this is a basic sheet metal, uh, and you're going to see that. I can capture every feature of that of that part. So I, there is a, this little um, click, uh, show advanced feature parameter. So I'm selecting the feature that I want to modify using my rules. So I'm, cap I'm, cap I'm capturing those information. And I can just save and update my model with those information. And eventually, when I, I'll go back to Trivox Administrator, I can apply all, all the rules. So here I'm recapturing the information. I'm updating. And then when I open DriveWorks Administrator and I refresh, then all those new features are appearing directly into my model rules and I can change them directly using any calculations, any logic uh, available on my project, anything captured from uh, the forms that I asked 
so those are all the features that I wanted to present today. Uh, there is a ton of other features. This is a link in order to see all the features, all the new features available uh, for Driveworks 19 SP now. Uh, so all the new enhancements, there's quite a few of them. So um, if, if you want to take a look at them and if you want to ask us any question regarding those, uh, we can answer pretty much everything. There, there are some new features also for 3D printing that were very fairly good. Didn't have the time to talk about those. So that's mainly what I wanted to present. Um, thank you everyone for listening. And uh, Joseph, if you wanna. Thank you, Yanko, that's a lot of information. Uh, I just uh, wish to make a point about uh, DriveWorks uh, in the sense that this is a scalable solution and uh, you can start uh, with DriveWorks solo on one station, develop a project and then go towards pro, get more people involved and ultimately push this either on your intranet or on your internet, making it a, a live project. So it's definitely, um, it's definitely a project that can evolve with time. I always suggest to my customers to uh, use the services of our uh, solutions engineers like, uh, like Anko uh, to start your first project. This way you get it uh, done right the first time. And after that, uh, you should be able to fly with your own wings as they say. And uh, also another point that uh, could be of interest is that uh, DriveWorks solution, uh, it, uh, it takes uh, your engineering knowledge. It, it captures all that know-how that you have and, and puts it in, into a digital format. So it, you know, many times in companies, you'll have knowledge that resides with people that have been in your company for 30, 40 years. And uh, when they leave, they bring that knowledge with them. With DriveWorks, what you can do is you can make sure that you capture that knowledge and put it and safeguard it and put it in a digital solution. This way it'll, it'll belong to you. And uh, when you do so, well, it's clear that this product will always augment in quality because you're capable of always reproducing the same assembly, for example, the same product, always in the same fashion with the same result. And I think that's very important. So thank you again, Yanko. Thank you uh, for attending and uh, we welcome you back to our Solid Experience webinars. Thank you, Joseph. Thanks everyone.